Kiều. My Parents Open Carry, a pro-gun kids book from White Feather Press. 13-year-old Brenna and her parents spend their day in typical fashion. But what's not so typical is that Brenna's parents lawfully open carry handguns for self-defense. And the Strongs join a growing number of families who are standing up for their Second Amendment right and bringing gun ownership out of the closet. Order your copy of this unique kids book at MyParentsOpenCarry.com. a bumpy ride through the political jungle with Nate and Brian. Believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. What? The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-680-9903. That's 1-800-680-9903. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-680-9903. That's 1-800-680-9903. Whenever I'm feeling a little down under, I can always count on Nate and Brian for their interesting perspective on topics important to freedom and civil rights by listening to the At Odd Show. Nate and Brian cover important topics with insight, intelligence, and of course, humor. I can always expect a laugh or two. So if you want to be informed and have a great time, give these guys a listen. Are you looking for some way cool t-shirts? Check out ChuckDug.com. They have hundreds of crazy fun t-shirts like gun, patriotic, and you better believe zombie shirts. At ChuckDug.com, you'll find quality shirts at a quality price. All shirts start at just 10 bucks with free shipping over 50 bucks. Mention Radio 1 coupon code at checkout and grab a cool 10% off. That's ChuckDug.com. T-shirts with attitude. The Ed Odd Show with the greatest political talk show hosts in history, Nate and Brian. Nate and it's Brian. sad that they actually believe that. So give a listen because the delusional need love too. I've owned my company for 14 years now, and I can tell you that payroll is a four-letter word. I hate doing it. It eats up hours I don't have, and it costs me money I could be saving. But my accountant's too expensive. And I'm not sure who to call, but I know I need help. We're Paychex, and we take all the hassles out of small business payroll. We save you time and money. It's easy. Call, fax, or give us your payroll information securely online, and we take care of the rest. We calculate the correct taxes, manage payments and direct deposits. We even send out your checks. Payroll doesn't need to be a four-letter word anymore. We're so sure that we can save you time and money that we'll give you a month's payroll free. Just for calling 877-887-4991. Get one month's payroll for free. Call Paychex right now. 877-887-4991. That's 877-887-4991. good thing about living up in Canada is when it gets cold, we can have a reindeer in a shed and a moose in a bed. 
Oh, yes, you who, can. Who doesn't have a moose in their bed? Uh, we're going to have one tonight in the trailer. Hey, the question you asked earlier. See? <laughs> See? Is no. How many? There, pres- oh, I meant there is no Kindle version. Oh, okay. <laughs> that <laughs> question. Anyway, how many presidents what? Were born British subjects. I'll give you a clue. There were eight. <clears throat> that, does that help? Do we have any guesses? No guesses? That was the question. What? You just gave the answer. Oh, I want... I, okay, eight. <laughs> That's all right. So there were eight. I want you to name them. <laughs> That's what I wanted. All right, so obviously George Washington. Obviously. John Adams. Thomas Jefferson. James wow. Madison. James Monroe. John Quincy Adams. Andrew Jackson. And William Harrison. Oh, so like the first eight. I don't think they were the first eight. No, they were in the first... 40, though. Yeah, they were in the first 40. Boy. I can also discuss uh, this day in history if you want. It reflects well on our home state of Michigan. Yes, do it, please. I All love, right. I love Michigan. So on this day in 1904, Henry Ford sets a land speed record of 91.37 miles per hour on the frozen surface of Michigan's Lake St. Clair. Oh, wow. That abuts Detroit. He was driving a four-wheel vehicle, which is good. It was dubbed, you like this, it was dubbed the 999. And it had a wooden chassis, but well, no, well, no well, body or wood for lightweight, right? Nice. But Ford's record was broken within a month at Ormond Beach, Florida, by a driver named William Vanderbilt. Even so, the publicity surrounding the Ford's achievement was valuable to the auto pioneer who in June of the previous year had incorporated the Ford Motor Company. Oh, boy. What happened? Trailer park dog. <laughs> Those damn Nova Scotians. Scaring the hell out of the moose. Easy, boy. Oh, be careful. Why'd you do that? That was live now. I know it now. Oh, the blood. I, I kicked it. Oh, my God. That was the moose. <laughs> Gored him. The uh, dog's fine. Uh, Stop yeah. it. Choking it. Can't breathe. Go home, PETA. <laughs> <gasps> you want to do the fake, fake news story? I want to do it. I want to do it. The Seattle Tribune. I, that I, that's where I get all my news. It's uh, a well-known. Actually, the Ad Odd Show. Yeah. That's where we get our news for the Ad Odd Show is a well-known um, fake news story like The Onion. Mm. And uh, you might have gotten some of this on your Facebook Or feed. CNN. Or CNN. What, and, is, what is his deal? What did you do? I, I don't know. He's hearing something. I, I, I'm thinking it's that 1,500-pound moose. <laughs> it's a small trailer, Nate. <laughs> and that's a big moose. I don't want to have to lose the security deposit. <laughs> Little giant dates all over the floor, and they're not dates. Oh, Dried dates. Anyways, because uh, it's moose poop. Yeah, I get it. Anyways, get uh, it. you might have gotten this on your uh, fake news. Or, I mean, on your <laughs> <My> fake news <laughs> feed. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Which is Facebook. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They're trying their best to eliminate yeah, it. They didn't. But uh, yeah, they, this, is, this is a story about the ex Army sniper, right? 43 year old guy. Yeah. Somewhere in Texas. And yeah. He just happened to be cleaning his sniper rifle. Upstairs in his bedroom, he's looking out the window, overlooking his neighbors, looking in the neighbor's of, bedroom. Kind of creepy. <laughs> and he says, "Oh, I saw, I saw, you know, Mister and Missus Jones, and they're all tied up in a chair there, and there's three bad guys wandering all around." And he 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 was he, he was listening. He was. <laughs> I can't do the song now. <laughs> he he heard. Uh, uh, <laughs> damn it, R- Reservoir Dogs. The guy cuts the ear off. Yeah, and he's playing right. that music. Uh-huh. <laughs> Joker's on the left of me. Joker's yeah, on the right. right. You know, all the guy right. cuts zero. So he slaps his trusty sniper rifle that he just happened to have, and he shoots <clears throat> through the his window into through their window. Yeah, and takes down two of the bad guys. And wow, one escapes. Wow, one of them escaped, huh? One of the bad guys. But he escaped. saved his neighbor's. But he life. saved his neighbor's life, and everybody's falling for it and they're going oh, good guy with a gun we love it oh my god it's so wonderful look at that good for him only in texas blah 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 no. blah but it's not true you're saying it doesn't appear to be true you're saying based because, on what well based on the only 
uh, source of the article comes from this fake news site like The Onion. Uh, now, this is not the first time this has happened. Yeah, we've had it happens all the time. Networks announce stuff that have been on The Onion. What you're saying is Facebook needs to crack down more on people's expression. No, I their think speech. the people that subscribe to Facebook ought to do a little damn research before they post stuff well, to make look, sure it's true. The, the article on the Seattle Tribune quotes. I, or, or, I would embarrass several people who posted that thinking it was real. They reference ABC. An ABC affiliate. If an ABC affiliate did a story ah, on it. Ah, well, that's the great thing because there is a fake news site called ABC something or other. Yeah. I think it's like ABC News. It is fake, too. Yeah. ABC I News. I have fallen for that. that. You just said ABC News is fake. Ah, oh, they're coming for you. It, <laughs> Brian, it's cool to call CNN fake, but not ABC. So you stop it. So I've even fallen for that one. I go, oh, it's ABC. It's got to be true. And then I uh-huh. feel, oh, no, it's ABC, the yeah. fake oh, news. It's, right. Look, it's easy because anybody can put up a website and put anything they want right. on it. It's, and, it's easy. And to people want to believe fooled. this kind of stuff, right? I mean, yeah, it's the a, same thing it's, with. It's a with somewhat cool story. The story with the, since Colorado passed marijuana law, there were 35 overdoses with marijuana. That was right. a, And that was on national news. And that was fake. There was only six people that overdosed. <laughs> no, there, there weren't any. No, there were nine. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. So that was fake news. So you got to be careful, people. you got to look at this and see, does this make sense? And let's see if I can Google this story and see if there's any other legitimate, and I say legitimate in quotes, legitimate news agencies that are they're covering this. And look, if you look through your neighbor's window and you see a couple people tied up with some strange people there, you can't always assume that the it that, could be a party. Right. That's what I'm saying. That was a, it a might not have been a burglar. A, a bondage party. <laughs> right. And, you don't know. And when you just call the police and say, "Hey, yeah. it looks like my neighbor is being uh, either so, having a good time or so not." So that's the real the real answer. You don't shoot through your window into your neighbor's window. You, I can, mean, you can if you're a, if you're an ex army sniper, you're that good. Oh, then you can do it, huh? I have ex army friends that would say that's absolutely true. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that he wasn't good enough. I'm saying it's not a good idea. Good enough? I think I could shoot through my window into my neighbor's window. I have. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't turn. They out didn't well. like it. It yeah. didn't turn out well. Well, if you would have saved their life, or <laughs> it wasn't. But it, <laughs> I had to get another dog. <laughs> They thought, I was, of, they thought I was a cop. Speaking <laughs> speaking of that, yeah. we've got a story here. Oh. The cops aren't just shooting dogs no, now. No, they're shooting deer that look like dogs. <laughs> oh. It's not funny. It's horrible. It, it was horrible. Apparently, this uh, rural family, I don't know what state it was. You want to have Steve look and see if you can see what state but apparently this He's standing right there. Why don't you have him do it? I gave him the, I gave him the finger. Um, Steve and I aren't talking now. Oh, We've had some. Now I have to look at this picture of a cute dead deer. Cute, it's not dead, but it's it cute. soon will be. So the, Ulysses, Kansas. Okay, in Kansas. So it's a kind of a rural area. It's a farm that had it. Apparently, this wounded deer showed up one day with a bad leg. They nurse it back to health, and they start feeding it. A couple times they let it into the house, but pretty much they just let it be free range, do whatever it wants. Some somebody reported it. Of course, you got the sheriff, and then you have their DNR, and everybody and their brother comes out there, and oh, you can't have wild deer as a pet, and they're like, yeah, it's you know, it's not really a pet. Nope. What we're going to have to do is take the deer away, and the deer's in a fenced-in yard that it can jump over the fence easily. And sensing something's wrong, jumps over the fence, starts running away, and they actually chase it out by the road where the people who had the deer were filming it, and you hear, you know, gunshot. Now, they claim they shot the deer several times. I only heard one shot on the video. But I mean, I mean, I understand. You know, shooting a deer is not a big deal. Well, but, if you're going to eat it, but or, yeah, but I mean, you you shoot. You know, they shoot deer that are hit by cars and all that kind of yeah, stuff all the time. But sure, 
seems to me that animal con- control could have come out there with a noose and a snare 